everybody, my name is Jonas van Nopp and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to get from an image like this one here to something like this while using my analyze method which will show you this here and I'm going to show you how to use it and how to use it to give your image the specific look you're after. So first of all, this is my reference image. On it I've used my analyze action, which I've already provided in the retouch pro thread. And this will give you, first of all, the original image. Then on this side we'll have the luminosity of the image. Here on the bottom left we have the saturation of the inner image. Black areas are areas of low saturation, white areas are areas of high saturation. And on the bottom right we have the hue of the image. And now we are going to use these three components to see how our image was built and made up. So as you can see, the luminosity and the saturation match up pretty well, so my first guess is that the luminosity, uh, the saturation is based on the luminosity. But as you can see as well, the low saturated areas are black in this image, and so that means that the low saturated areas remain low saturated, while the other areas are saturated according to their luminosity. And so to do this, what we're going to do is first of all extract our luminosity. We're going to use a hue and saturation adjustment layer for this. Pull the saturation slider down to negative 100 and set the mode to color. Now we're going to copy any of the three individual channels. And this is our luminosity. Now we wanted to combine this luminosity with our original saturation. And so what I'm going to do next is use the selective color adjustment layer, make sure the method is set to absolute, and in all the colors set the black level to negative 100. Now in all the neutrals, that means the whites, the neutrals and the blacks, put the black up to plus 100. And what you can see now as a representation of the chromaticity of the image. What we're going to do to combine these two channels is either use a channel mixer, image calculations, uh, the calculations, I'm sorry, and use the blue channel as source 1, the luminosity channel as source 2, and multiply them. Or even easier, we can go Control or Command click on the blue channel and Control or Command Shift and Alt click to find the intersection with the luminosity layer. Now delete the luminosity layer, delete the current adjustment layer, and first of all create a new channel with this selection. I'm going to deselect it now. Hit select, deselect, or simply command D. Invert it using control I. And now I'm going to use image adjustments equalize on this. Select it all using select, select all, or control A, control C to copy. In our main layer, control V to paste. Put the mode to saturation. And now we are going to clip a gradient map, map adjustment layer to it. For this we are going from white to red. And we have to make sure that our smoothness is set to 0% to give us a more accurate representation of the luminosity. Next we will check back with our reference image. You can see, okay, the middle seems to be a little lighter, 
the outer rebellion, the image seems to have a vignette, and the reds are shifted a little towards yellow. And so, we are going to first of all create a vignette. We'll just create a selection of the border. And now just cut the whites. Now we are going to set the blending mode for this layer to luminosity. Because if we didn't, if the blending mode wasn't set to luminosity, we would see a shift in the hue on the hue layer. And as we don't see it, we can be pretty sure that the mode was set to luminosity. Now we are going to feather the mask, for example 90 pixels here. And then I'm going to lighten the middle part of this image. I'm just going to duplicate my image, invert the mask, put the mode back to normal, and now just give it a little more whites and open up the midtones a little. Now as a final step, I'm going to add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Select the yellows. Use the minus eyedropper to deselect the greens, the grass. And now I'm just going to shift the yellows ever so slightly and turn down the saturation and set the mode to color to give it a more pleasing look. And so as you can see, without too many changes, we've gone from this image here to a vivid and happy image like this one. Of course we can fine-tune the values if we want to, for example, make the vignette a little softer or harder, make it a little more or less aggressive. But that's all up to you. The basic principle is to combine the saturation and the luminosity with the gradient map, add the vignette, light in the middle, and unify the colors a little. If you have any questions left, feel free to email me, jonas underscore vendorf at web.de, or just guide me jonasw234. Until then, have a wonderful time. Goodbye.